Hi everybody, I'm Annie Roberts. And I'm Lisa Sweezy. As you all know, we are getting ready to pack up and do demolition and construction on our brand new facility. We're so excited. It's gonna be great. The museum has doubled in size since it opened in 1973 and we have had to be very creative in our use of space, as many of you well know. So before we get to packing and putting everything away, we thought that we'd share with you today a few examples of some things that have been hidden in plain sight all along. Let's get started. The original Charlie McCarthy is at the Smithsonian. Our replica is very popular with tourists as well, but what you might not know is this Charlie does not have a working mouth and that there are pencil lines drawn to indicate where the slot jaw would be. Many of you already know that each dummy already has an ID number on its tag. But what you might not know is that hidden on the back of each photograph is another number that tells me in the database where I can find all the information I need about that ventriloquist. This photograph of Norma Jarboen Jr. is one of over 8,000 photographs that has been scanned and has the pertinent data attached in our photo database. In 1973, when the W.S. Berger Building was built, a third of the space was used to house the massive library archive. As more display space was needed, that collection was moved to the Jimmy Nelson building where it's currently stored. But this case here is used to represent that library with a selection of pieces. So it makes the library kind of hidden in plain sight. In the 1970s, these bleachers were built and today they hold over a hundred dummies. In addition to that, a whole section rolls out and has storage underneath where we keep the clothing inventory and other ephemera. And through the magic of time travel, I can show you. If you've ever been to Vent Haven, you know that we have dozens and dozens of suitcases. What you might not know is that this one is very special in that instead of the dummy folding his legs over his head to get in there, Wendy Higgins lies flat in this one. The walls at Van Haven are covered by photographs, but sometimes we have something that's too big to be covered by an eight by 10, and is a, a less than pleasing museum aesthetic. So what do we do? We get creative and we cover things with paintings, such as the electric panel, and this electric panel, and this electric panel. Vent Haven is very fortunate to have a ton of Bergen and McCarthy ephemera and memorabilia. And even though much of it is displayed in the exhibit, there's still some that is hidden in plain sight. Thanks for watching. We look forward to sharing progress on the construction with you very soon.